Hi, TZ Brown here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I laid out and cut my foot box uh, hammock and uh, you know, basically give you some ideas on how you can do your own. Okay, first off I laid out the material with the uh, right side or the outside down to the bottom of the cutting table. Squared it onto the table. I've got a pretty large cutting table that I made here and it works really well. So the first thing I did again with the shiny side or outside down on the table I laid out the foot box triangle on the it, when it's right side up it'll be on the other side of the uh, hammock and make it a right side foot box hammock so this uh, foot box is 30 inches by 30 inches and that will make a 43 inch long side on the triangle so I cut that off for the foot box first. Okay, setting back 30 inches, my finished hammock, I only want to have a 20 inch setback. So I came back 10 inches from the far end of the hammock and started my point at that point and cut to where I had cut off the triangle, which ended up making me a piece of usable scrap here but smaller than I would have had by you know wasting the other end so now I've got the foot end of the triangle or the foot end of the hammock cut with a 20 inch setback okay this is on the head end of the hammock and here I have a 18 inch from square 18 inch setback to one edge which goes to the point of the other 116 inch overall hammock length. So this side I've only cut an 18 inch so it's not a true par parallelogram anymore. It's 18 inches set back on the head end and 20 inches set back on the foot end. When I mentioned earlier in the thread about putting a 3 inch radius on the bottom edge of the triangle, this is how I do it. I find most anything I like that seems to be will look good for a radius. This is about 3 and a quarter inches across happens to be what I have some bobby pins and stuff in I use for laying out. And I just lay that in the corner. Take an X-Acto knife or whatever you're using to trim with. Some people use a hot knife. I would normally, but this is just fine because it's going to have a lot of uh, edging around it. And I just round the corner off so I don't have a square corner to deal with as I'm putting the seam or hems in the edges. Okay, so here's what the triangle looks like after it's been laid out. Uh, hem has been folded into it, and uh, you can see what I use for, for quick layouts here. Okay, this is laid out with the wrong side up. The shiny side is up. The side that will be finished towards the inside of the hammock is down. And I put in about a 3 8 uh, rolled hem here. And we'll go ahead and get that in the machine and uh, sew that up. The last thing we're going to do on this is roll the hem for the, this will become the edge of the hammock, the top edge of the hammock. And this hem will actually roll to the other side. Okay, here we go. We're going to hem up some of this hammock. Okay, so what, here's what the triangle looks like after I've rolled the, rolled the top hem into it. The top hem is actually going to be about a 1 inch hem. I've got about a 3 8 under fold and then about a full 1 inch hem on top. And again, I use bobby pins, paper clips, whatever to fast lay out. I don't like to play around too much with pins. Now the other thing I do at this point is check my work to find out this started out as a 30 inch along the short side of this triangle. Measuring, squared it up on the cutting uh, pad here. Measuring this way, I have now turned it into a 26 inch uh, triangle for the foot box. After I've put the 3 8 inch rolled hem in here, and I've got a 1 inch here, but only about a 3 8 under fold. Okay, this is what the triangle looks like after it's been hemmed along the long side. I put in a double, double sew here 
and held the threads back about three quarters of an inch from the edge of hem. Now this is the end that will be sewn into the whipping end of the hammock. Your zingot line will come down through all of this and come to the other end of your triangle. And this currently is the inside of the hammock body. Okay, on the outside of this triangle there will be a small hole burnt into this side of this hammock triangle. As it mates with the other side, this will be the sew line for the, the hammock bed edge. And as this hole mates with the hammock bed, bed edge, there will be another hole burnt into that. And this will be where your zingot line runs to the other end of the hammock to help strengthen this joint right here so you won't need a batch of reinforcing in this area right here. Okay, here's the uh, hammock side that I've got pinned up. Uh, this is going to be the inside of the hammock. This is the dull colored side as compared to the wrong side, the shiny side. Okay, I've got about a uh, little over an inch hem in here and on the fold under there's about a half inch. So I'm taking up about an inch and a half of material on each side. And I don't have enough of them little bobby pins and clips to do the whole side, so I did pin this one up. Then I'm going to show you how we measure off from the end to do the end channels. Okay, this is how I do the end channel. I want to have the sew line somewhere down around the six inches from the end. Now this is the end, this is the foot end that I cut on the 20 inch back set. So I take a ruler with a triangle so I've got a, a square to the edge that I cut. I know I want a six inch. So I set the ruler up, triangle up, and then I just mark my triangle at whatever six inches is and I walk down the, the hammock edge here putting a dot wherever my fold line will be. That will become my, my point where the edge of the hammock uh, channel will be.